Hello, hello, YouTube. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Hello again, friends. I'm glad I'm here to be sharing another video with you. First, I'm just really surprised at how well the grow out has been. There's no lifting, no problems, but I am really wanting to try another color. So I'll try to be doing my nails soon. I just need a big chunk of time, you know, but this is not a nail video. No, in fact, it is Thrifty Thursday, Thrifty Canucks, and Thrifted Treasures. Thrifty Thursday is brought to us over at Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. She has a lot of great content, not just Thrifty, Thrifty Thursday, and as do Kim and Dale. All the ladies have a lot of fabulous content, so I'll be sure to link everything in the description box below. Thrift, thrifted... <laughs> Thrifty Canucks is brought to us by Kim Newberg and Thrifted Treasures is hosted by Dale at a not too shabby chic, as I said. All the links will be in my description. Go ahead, show them some love. Each of the ladies have a lot of fantastic content. I'll start today with some books I found. And this is called The Countryman. The Countryman, a novelist, a novelist and his peers. Oh, it looks like it's a bunch of small, small stories. Oh, look at the fabulous. So this is the kind of um, old school advertising that I'm just charmed by. Look at that great clip art. <laughs> oh, it's so fabulous. Farm wiring system, purser's lightweight plastic garden hose. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. There is fabulous ads in here. Oh my goodness, I'm so pleased. I don't know if it had a year. Let me have a look here. Um, summer 1953. Okay. Oh, love that. <laughs> well, it looks like it goes on for quite some time. Is that all it is? No, there's a lot of advertising in the beginning. Oh, I was so close. And here begins the stories. And it looks like we've got some pictures as well. Cute sketches. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, we've got a little cluster of photos. A lonely road in Farndale, North, North Yorkshire. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Milk and water <laughs> on the Shropshire Union Canal near Newport. Lovely. And the puppies. What wondrous life is this I lead? Photographed by Marcus Kirby. Aww. Poopies. Oh, and it goes on and on. Look at a little hedgy. A cow. <laughs> well, isn't this a little treasure trove? A duck and a duckling. Sheepskin. A bat. Well, this is quite a quite the book with a lot to give a countryman. It looks like there's a lot of issues of it. Interesting. And more fabulous advertising in the back. Well, that's interesting. The countryman. What was that again? 1953. Fantastic. The next one's really beat up. It's um, poems, chiefly narrative. And the, it's already falling apart. You can see what they used to find here. <laughs> and sure, maybe I might harvest a few pages because it looks interesting. Um, but mostly it was for the cover. I mean, that's such a nice size. So this is from
Oh goodness, so the last one was 1948. So we'll just say 1948. Narrative poems. The Cop Clark Literature Series. Selections from Irving and Hawthorne. Number 17. Canada. <laughs> Canada. Uh, okay, be careful here. Oh, all right then. Um, the Great Stone Face. Oh yes, I see the Great Stone Face. How fascinating. Nice. Uh, 1915. Oh, okay, 1915. All right then. Admittedly, I, I bought it hoping it was going to be similar to um, the other booklet, but no, this was quite different. <laughs> All right, so the spine looks nice. I love the color. I love the size and the shape as well. So I got it mainly for the cover. The paper inside is just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the copyright. 1944 we're gonna say 1944 <laughs> i have i have paper guts this i know is unfinished on the edge which is interesting let's put it into my <laughs> stash of books to be harvested potentially and the last the last book here is the brave little duck Look at that cute little picture. <sighs> and the spine has seen better days for sure. But look at that. I haven't seen one like I haven't seen one like this in a while. Come on nails, don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, I don't want to give anyone's away. 1955 is when the when it was gifted. There was just an address there. Oh, look at this. It's just, yeah, 1953. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the colors are so nice. Oh. A treasure book for children, yeah. That's really cute. All right, so this book is makes this the last thing for my book haul. I've got a few gems. I'm not sure what to do with this one. If you have any ideas what to do with this one, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I might re-donate that back. <laughs> So this first section is going to be thrifting finds and so my next um, category is things like linens and there's honestly not not many but I do have a couple of doilies isn't that pretty look at that cutie And then this one, not quite the same though. And then this cluster of napkins here with some embroidery for $2. And that's beautiful material for embroidery, isn't it? So that's what this is. I could continue or harvest this. I mean, so many, so many options for something like this. Natasha's fur already. <laughs> so that's it for linens. The next is going to be paper products. Oh, I have a weakness for stationery, even in thrift stores. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Look at this stack of stuff. I'm going to start with this. 642 things to write about by the San Francisco San Francisco Writers Grotto, introduced by Poe Bronson. 
<laughs> it looks like it makes it look like a com com composition notebook. Oh my goodness. Uh, 2011. Oh wow. So that's all geared toward 2017, but that the year doesn't matter. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Get your imagination firing. Not bad at all, not bad. And then next is the address book and birthday book for $3.99. I'll deal with that later. I don't know what that was. Probably from somewhere else. Okay. So, the friend's address and telephone book. <laughs> it's mostly for the pictures I am going to use out of here. So, I'm just going to flip through a little bit. Aren't they pretty? Just very. If that's your art style, if you enjoy this art style, then of course you're gonna love it. And I do love this kind of art style. It's very romantic, cottage core, kind of living an idyllic life in the countryside, enjoying your flower gardens, the fruits of your labors, you know, the sights of the summer. Isn't that just beautiful? Hmm. It evokes uh, a nice, pleasant feeling. And then this one is Days to Remember Birthday Book. These nails are becoming dangerously too long. <laughs> Only in that I'm getting a bit clumsy with this length. So it's definitely time to address that. So yeah, 1995. All right. Lovely. garden. That's gorgeous. So there we are for $4.99 here. I got this make my own greeting card pack. These white ones are have that crease, the pre-creased pre, uh, paper here to create the card. And then this is just, oh, it's more, I'm sorry, it is does have the crease as well. And then, so it looks like it's all the colors, I suppose, to create a card. I knew I had some but I don't think I've been able to find them since I did my rearranging. <laughs> like, where did I rearrange it to? <laughs> I've lost track of it. So anyway, good find if it's replacing something that I've lost. <laughs> oh, and I was charmed. Look at that. Aw, it is just so cute. And you know what? If it was just the front, I might have been able to walk away, but no. No, it has that design all throughout, which just is so charming. It makes me want to use this as my journal, so <laughs> it's really cute. I have a thing about stationery. Maybe you do too, like at my Restore store for 75 cents here. It's just stationery. It's still sealed. So now I have some envelopes and some paper that makes it easier to add these to my stash. Speaking of paper, stationary sets. Oh, it's not pretty. 
want a cute ribbon to thwart me. <laughs> oh my, oh my, I think I have it upside down. No, I do not. Okay, so here we have a flip open, a flip open. Oh my goodness, it just keeps giving. Oh, I thought this was a stationary set. I didn't realize it was so fun and intricate. Definitely a design. And then it just gets smaller. With the same papers. And it is a stiff cardstock that is on there. How fun is that? But that is not what I thought it was going to be, but that is fun. So this is Sudoku for dummies for 99 cents. Right? Numbers on it, on both sides it looks like. So wouldn't that be fun to add to a background? So here I have this little bundle of things. <laughs> Pocket Trivia Kids Game. According to Professor Hoyle. Oh wow, that is some old paper. Those are fantastic. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. These are lovely. Complete the name of the Disney cartoon featuring the reluctant blank. Wow. Wow. What year was this? <laughs> Uh, 1984 so some dated these are fantastic like you oh it has this sheen to it like it could probably pick it up somehow and make it flash yep there it is and on the this side it's not so much it's more matte which is a really nice um, texturally to touch that's really fun oh that's really fun Oh, the next is, oh, something from Lake City Casino. So it looks like it's just some casino cards in this style. And then we have some three table progressive game. Looks like. So that's fun. Always fun to have new interesting papers to play with. There's numbers in a red interesting font. That's fun. So that's the last of the grab bag. This is the next to last thing. It's invitations 10 for 50. <laughs> a shower is coming. You can easily cover that up. And look at how darling that is. Look how darling that is. Um, in the end, they will be opened, so. Oh, I like the um, cut work there. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? nor cross. Daisies do tell every now and then, and this one tells you where and when. Oh, <laughs> oh what a beautiful invitation to a shower. I remember back in the day, my mom would get cards like these and they'd go off. <laughs> I'm indulging in nostalgia here. 50 cents at the Restore store for some stickers. Did you have a sticker book? Because I sure as heck had a sticker book. In fact, by the time I stopped collecting stickers, I had more than one sticker book. So, <laughs> big nostalgia hit here. Those are adorable. Oh my goodness, and you get a few sheets of them. But of course, the cute one is, you know. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. And then we have some fairies. Here's another piece of that. And some other, here's another piece of that. And some other style fairies here. So that completes the thrifting and old book sections of my haul. Next comes online purchases. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the beads that I used to create my glass bead gel. I did it as part of my 
series of index card a day videos that I completed recently and I made um, some texture paste and used it on a couple of products. I'll have those videos linked either up in the top corner and also down in the description box. So these are uh, small beads and the idea was to create this um, glass bead gel by using matte gel medium and glass beads to create this product that uh, was likened to a grit paste and that's exactly it. It's just another another texture, another grit paste you can use. I'm debating on whether or not to add more different sizes in them by using these rainbow essent kind of <laughs> beautiful um, beads to this mix. We'll see, I might, because this is really consistent to one um, flat level surface even though it is grit paste, I'd rather it be a little more dimensional. So we'll see what I end up doing. So that's my first purchase. These are so much fun. Um, the, the, I got the idea um, from Nina Fickett. She had a, a video creating the recipe. And when I was in search for the glass beads, uh, like similar to the ones she had used, I was coming up with nothing because I was using the wrong terminology <laughs> seed beads of course are those little beads that you create bracelets with and whatnot so in re looking at my nails I was reminded oh yes I have a product that already already does that which there are pixie stones and um uh seed uh bead <laughs> seed beads <laughs> yeah you, you you start searching for that and you get a few results and then there we go so this is what the glass bead gel looks like right now it's really fun. I added it on a number of my iCads and uh, I, there's a huge playlist of them for this year and yeah, really fun. Yeah, I, I, this is the my card for day 68 and there is definitely some seed glass bead gel there. So much fun, a lot of texture. Nice, I can f finish organizing my foils and stickers. So this is nice. So I'm glad this came. I'm going to continue to store and sort my foils and stickers and just keep going. It's an ongoing process. <laughs> like how are you gonna sort them all? <laughs> Cat Magnetic Gels, we got CMG01 and CMG07, and then the numbers as well. So, Cat Magnetic Gel, hey? That, oh, oh, do you see this? What madness is this? I wish I had swatch sticks. Oh my, oh my, that was a gorgeous red. What is this? Oh, look at that. I forgot, I ordered these. These might be on my next set. borderline the same but the shift of the shimmer particles in there might be different so nice I wish I had swatch sticks <laughs> I ordered them let's see if they came <laughs> oh nice isn't that pretty Did you pick up all the little glitter that adorable oh. oh that's adorable isn't it I think it's absolutely darling <laughs> that's fun 
And then I have this large package. All right, so it's my gooseneck lamp to do my quick cures instead of um, trying to use my flashlight. Okay, so this is okay, and they even have the plastic um, sticky tabs. This is my first time looking at something on, like this. Usually mine are in a box. So this is my first time with this style. And that's a pretty... <laughs> it's long, it's about as long as what I've got going on right here. <laughs> So those are nice. I've seen um, somebody say that these were really nice and I really enjoyed these. So I thought I would give them a try. They have a few. Oh, so it's, oh, I see. Material, acrylic. Really? That's fascinating. It's quite sturdy. It has a, but it isn't too, too thick at the ends. So that's good. If you've used this one, Navolution, let me know. All right, I know this looks like a set of tips. So I bought another box of these, I think, or this if this is a new shape. Really nice nails. Oh, fun. It's uh, the first of um, some cute sticker sheets I've been trying to get in my stash. So we've got silver, hollow, black, and white of this star pattern. That's fabulous. Love that. I can go into my new sticker book. Okay. So this is the set of the glitters I wanted of the white, black, hollow, clear, um, because I had seen someone do a, a set of nails using these as their bases, which was really fun looking. So inspired me to give these a try. Some trim. Hold on. A gift for you, this tiny little safety pin. A uh, button and this little selection of threads is not adorable thank you and it is wrapped so prettily just another lovely thing I could put a sentiment on isn't that isn't that a beautiful leaf you would cut one off and use it as the topper of a sentiment cluster so pretty ah some more flowers hold on I think I, this has a few, a uh, couple different kinds or shapes. Yes, they have these, which have beadwork in the middle. Isn't that pretty? So it looks I have one, two, three. I have five of each and on the right side, on the right side, they have sewn little sequins to make it glitter. <laughs> so pretty. I'm going to add this to my collection of sentiment cluster fodder. <laughs> if I don't think they'll fit, but I'll, I'll put them in the same area as well as this ribbon of beautiful leaf shapes that goes there as well. So that's the end of thrifting, of books, of online purchases, and now it's time for retail shops. <laughs> so the first is gonna be this brush for $1.75 at the Dollarama. So it's a one inch brush. It's, you know, artificial bristles here. 
And I'll just add it to my brushes. So I want to try this. This is glow in the dark paint. <laughs> I just want to try it. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I have these party loot bags. It's four of them. And it's this beautiful metallic rose gold in these three patterns. All right, so these are those bags and here are the patterns. And the bags are really nice. And the patterns are on both sides, which is always lovely. And so I'm now they're just available to grab in my stash. These mini blocks of paper always grab my attention. <laughs> I thought it had a name on it, but it doesn't, but it looks really pretty. So I'll just do a quick flip through. Ooh, oh lovely. Oh, these are all fun. Look at these. Oh, those are fabulous. Really pretty. I can see a use for a lot of these, so I love I love that one. And let's have a look at this one. I keep looking to see if it has like different names, but not as far as I can tell. Oh, do I have this one? If I do, then this will go in my giveaway box for sure. I'll check. Oh, I. I think so because I remember using that paper. So this might go in my giveaway box. Isn't that fortunate? Now the last couple of pieces are pieces of art that I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? I agree with the sentiment. I love the colors. I love the little cluster of floral. I love the whole thing about it. So. Yeah, don't forget to be awesome. Yeah. I used to say when everyone said whenever someone said how are you, I would say I'm awesome because I felt on top of the world. And then, you know, sometimes life bites you in the butt. <laughs> so a little reminder to don't forget to be awesome, right? Yeah. So this is the last piece. Isn't it fun? It's just so so I I love what they've done. They've printed this on on whatever whatever that whatever that is they've printed it i think and then they've made it look more alive by adding daubs of color of paint here and there to make it look painterly and isn't that fantastic look what they've done on the right beautifully done so that's just makes me happy this just makes me happy so that's going to that's going to stay and keep me inspired with these two finished that's it for my retail finds and there's one section left which is the napkins and i'll be right back with those all right we have some napkins here daisies from jisk all right and here's the pattern really bold flowers really beautifully green look at how beautiful that green is in the background so vibrant And then we have this pattern from Jisk. Oh, that's pretty. It, it's one large, large pattern. Really tropical and fun with the lemons and the ferns and the hibiscus. Beautiful. And we have this beautiful blue floral. Oh, what a striking blue. Just beautiful, beautiful blue. And the pattern re um, doesn't have panels. It's just a repeated one. And it goes together so well. 
very pretty. And my last one is this one here. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Really pretty. I love the shades in here. Look at those colors. Artfully done so that there's no like, you can go as big as you want with it, which is fabulous. So these are the napkins I have available. They'll be up in my Etsy shop shortly. I'll have links to that in the description box below. I'd like to thank all the ladies for hosting these fabulous hashtags. I really do encourage you go check them out. All their information is listed in the description box as well. I'd like to thank you for watching today. I really do appreciate your time and attention. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, bye-bye.